Hey, I want to give God the glory and thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me achieve all that I wanted to achieve in 2016. Man, it was a year of completion after three long years of pouring myself into writing and rewriting my testimony slash biography. The Lord finally helped me to complete it. What did I do with it? For starters, I gave it to every Jewish person I know. And so many people have been just totally lifted up and inspired because of my story. And it's because of you that I was able to accomplish that. So often there's not much hype around singing for leaders behind the scenes at retreats or not as highly publicized events. I was filled with awe and wonder as the Lord allowed me to sing for some awesome ministry leaders that I just admire this year. Dr. Michael Brown, Dr. Rich Freeman, Dr. Mitch Glazer from Chosen People Ministries. I mean, these are some of the most incredible men that God allowed me to to sing before. These guys are on the front lines every day sharing the gospel. And I'm just, I was in awe, let me tell you, singing for some of these people. And I pray that I was able to uplift and energize them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Certainly not through my little Michelle Gold power, (laughs) because without God, I've got nothing. Um, In fact, that's one of the things I say before I minister live. I say, God, I got nothing. You got to move through me. You know, I was also totally honored and excited to minister with Raphael Giglio and the Zarephath, New Jersey worship team. Wow. I had never even ministered with them before and just to be able to join them and what they were doing, it was phenomenal. And then there was cantering each week at the Messianic Synagogue near my house. And I'm still ministering there actively and it's been extremely fulfilling. Joe's been leading Bible studies there and as well as at our home on a regular basis. Without sounding partial, I want to say that he's just so fun and fabulous and filled with the Holy Spirit. Of course, he's my sweetheart, so I have to say that right. But seriously, I really like listening to him, and that's one of the reasons I marry him, for his cooking, for his fun personality, and I love how he loves God and he loves people. Last but not least, on a personal note, I'm a skeptic when it comes to New Year's resolutions. However, I will share with you a few of my New Year's prayers. Uh, Number one, I'm asking God to give me a really strong desire to eat more vegetables and proteins this year, rather than turning to rice and pasta, even whole grain rice and pasta. I tend to just love it too, too much. Um, I have a nice holistic doctor assisting me in getting on track. But I've gained a little weight and need to stay strong to serve Messiah. Yeah, I know you've been there. Got the t-shirt. So that's one of my prayers, um, that God would just anoint my taste buds in the name of Yeshua. (laughs) And to my other New Year's prayers is to create a more refined and refreshing time in the Word on a daily basis with my coffee. Just longing for more of a brief, beautiful time with the Lord and His Word. I want to want to be with God more than I want Facebook, email, cleaning, all the things I can just easily get caught up in. So I want to connect with God so much that it'll be easy for me to connect with my friends out of abundance. So I know that's probably one of your prayers too. So I just thought I'd be real and transparent. What's your New Year's prayer? Care to share? Add your comments below so we can be praying for one another or if it's private. I totally understand. Again, I want to thank you so much for your love and for supporting my ministry. It's meant a million, million dollars to me. I appreciate it. Just every little bit that everyone gives, I use to further the gospel and to make a difference. I pray that my life makes an impact. Check out some of the cool links below and let's stay connected. Shalom and have a wonderful, wonderful 2017.